What's new? What's new is first up we've got this cool new Raspberry Pi Display 2. A nice upgrade for the V1, which was 840 by 480 pixels. This is um, 8, 1280 by 720. So it's like basically a seven inch tablet. It's also got a capacitive touch display with like five points, like the old one, uh, but an IPS display, so it looks beautiful. Um, and the Raspberry Pi mount on the back, we've got it in stock. It's even less expensive than the original display. Um, I'm excited. I think I'll do a couple projects with this. Okay. So, I mean, we'll do a case design for it too. Next up. Next up. The LPS 28, we covered this on INMPI um, a couple months ago, um, sorry, a couple years ago, and then the pressure sensor was unavailable because the part charge and then it became available again. Uh, so we made a breakout board for it. What's really cool about this is it can do up to 4,000 hectopascals or uh, bars, which is unusual. Most pressure sensors max out at about 1260, which is a little bit higher pressure than um, sea level but this can go down i think uh 40 meters 30 or 40 meters below sea level so this could be good for like uav projects not uav ua underwater whatever underwater robots whatever the uav they're called um or um you know depth sensors that uh are in an or pressure sensors that are in a enclosure that could get to higher pressures than um, atmosphere pressure. Okay, and the star of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, our community, and everyone who makes and shares and tries to build together to do something interesting, is a pixel shifter. Yes, so we have this um, NeoPixel shifter. I designed this because I was working with NeoPixels that were being very finicky, really wanted 5-volt signal, not 3-volt signal. And so I was like, ah, if only I had a little board that's like little tiny and easy to use. Um, so this board is easy to use because you don't need any tools. Uh, I mean, other than a screwdriver, you don't need to solder anything. You can have two 3.3-volt data line inputs, and you'll get two 5-volt outputs, and you'll also get one inverted line, which is useful for chips like the TM1814. I learned that um uh that it needs a neopixel signal but it's like the opposite polarity and so um one of the pin out it will give you that pin out and so you can easily drive those without having to like do custom neopixel code there's also one neopixel on board so if you um want to test signal to make sure that you're getting proper neopixel um it'll light up to let you know that and it's just like i don't know easy to use just use terminal blocks open it up screw some wires in um, and so if you're having really flaky behavior from your NeoPixels or NeoPixel compatibles or AP102s, I recommend getting the shifter. Definitely, I've, I've seen a lot of people, especially if you have a six volt power or a little bit higher um, and the strips are sensitive, they really want five volts, but you're using an RP2040 or a Raspberry Pi, this will solve it for you and it's only a couple bucks. Alrighty, and with that is... Nice. New, 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 new.